Let's talk about what the term spot rate and forward rate mean in the context of interest rates. So the spot rate is the interest rate you could get on a loan that starts right now, today, immediately. So if you're like, quote me a price, I want a two-year loan starting today, what interest rate would you give me? And someone says 4%, that's the spot rate. Okay. The forward rate, on the other hand, is the implied interest rate on a loan that begins at some point in the future. So if you said, look, I want a two-year loan, but I don't, I, not starting today, I think a year from now, one year from now, I'm curious what would be the rate on a two-year loan. Okay, so that would be the forward rate. So let me show you this with an example. I think it'll make it a little bit easier to understand. Okay, so let's say, let's say that right now, for a one-year loan, you could get an interest rate of 2%. So that would be the spot rate for a one-year loan, 2%. For a two-year loan, today, starting today, you say, hey, I want a two-year loan, 3% interest rate. So we've got a 3% spot rate for a two-year loan and a 2% spot rate for a one-year loan. But what if you said, look, I'm interested in a one-year loan, but starting one year from today. Okay, so let's say that this is today, 0, 0.0, so this is today, and you say, I don't want this one-year loan to begin today. I want it to begin one year from now, right here. Okay, so it's going to extend for a year then. So it's a one-year loan, but it doesn't begin today. Okay, so I'm not going to get this rate of 2%. How do we calculate? How do we calculate this forward rate? Well, we can actually use the spot rates that we have, the 2% for the one-year spot rate and the 3% for the two-year spot rate, to piece together what would be the implied forward rate. Okay, so what we're going to do, essentially, we're going to take one plus this, okay, and then we're going to multiply it by one plus this, which is unknown as of right now. We're going to solve for it, and it will be equal to one plus this, okay, one plus uh, 0 0.03 squared, okay? So one plus this times one plus this is equal to one plus this squared, and then we're just going to solve for the one-year forward rate. Okay, so let's do the math. I know that's a lot to take in. So as I said, one plus this, that's gonna be 1.02 times one plus our one year forward rate, which we don't know what that is yet. We're gonna solve for that is equal to one plus our two year spot rate. Okay, so 1.03 squared. Okay, so now we do a little bit of algebra and what we end up with is our one year forward rate is a little over 4%, 4.0098%. So what does that mean? I'll write that in here, 4.0098%. That means that if w right now we're thinking that, okay, if we were to get a one-year loan right now, the spot rate would be 2%. But one year from now, okay, one year from now, it looks like the interest rate that we would get on a one-year loan, if we said in three hundred in one year from now, 365 days from now, we say, you know what? Hey, I'd like a one-year loan. We the implied rate that we're that we're believing we're going to have based on these spot rates is going to be 4.0098 percent. That's the rate of interest that we will have on a one-year loan that starts one year from today.